Hey everyone, welcome back to the On Shape series. I'm Mr. Redmond. Today we're going to talk about tolerance and adding tolerance measurements to your drawing files that you've created in On Shape. What I want you to do is to go to the tower drawing that we've done earlier in the series, um, and we want to add some tolerance to some of these components that we have created. When you open up this document, it might go to the Part Studio down here on the bottom. Uh, if that's the case, just go over here to your drawing, click on it, and it should look something like this from before. So, uh, as you remember, there are three types of tolerance that we can add to our part file or to our drawing here. Um, some of them will be more appropriate in situations. It all kind of depends on the manufacturer and who's getting this document. Uh, we will start today with uh, this one right here, this um, diameter of the top portion of the cylinder. Uh, we're going to change this dimension. It is uh, 1.250 inches in diameter, but if we wanted to add a tolerance to this, we'll start with unilateral um, tolerance. We're going to Double click on the dimension in question. This one right here, double click on it. This window pops up. You can change some text. These are text boxes you can add additional information to if you'd like. However, there is right here our tolerance drop down, and it will allow us to choose what type of tolerance we are uh, in favor of at this time. Right now, uh, for bilateral or sorry unilateral tolerance we want to use a deviation tolerance in uh, on shape terminology deviation is what's going to give us unilateral and in one of these directions we can change a uh, an, an amount so here we have the positive direction and the negative direction on the bottom uh, i'm going to change this to um, give or take or just add one Point one, uh, zero 0.01 inches to our um, diameter here. And when I click off of our, this little window here, it will, you'll see that it has updated um, our dimension to show the tolerance of my choosing right here. Pretty cool. We can also do um, what is known as bilateral tolerance. I'm going to do the distance between the side and the center hole here uh, with a bilateral difference. Uh, same process. Well, it looks like you can just mouse over for a moment and it'll pop back up. Pop up. Maybe not. Uh, at any rate, double click on this one here and click on the tolerance drop down and we can add symmetrical tolerance, which will give us bilateral tolerance. Um, We'll do a similar measurement here. We'll do point, let's say point oh oh our bilateral tolerance and hit enter. And we can click off of the window and it will show us plus or minus 0 0.005 inches as our tolerance here. The last type of tolerance we'll change to the it'll add to the diameter of the through hole um, on the side of the tower. Uh, if we double click on this one, we can change the tolerance type from none to, or we don't want symmetrical or deviation. We want limits, uh, limit dimensions. Um, pretty, pretty great. This is very easy. I'm going to leave it the way it is at 0 0.01, um, but you can change the positive or negative limit dimensions uh, for both positive and negative here. And it changes the format entirely of what the dimension looks like from a single value now to two different values of diameter. The uh, maximum at 0.26 inches and the minimum at 0.24. So changing tolerances and adding tolerances to your drawing files are is very, very simple. Uh, you can use this. Um, quickly and add, add tolerances to any of your documents when you find it necessary. Um, you should turn in a PDF to me 
of, of this. Uh, change uh, three more dimensions on here, any of these into um, different tolerances, and uh, submit uh, your PDF to blend.